What's up YouTube family? It's Sarah. It is week 86 out from VSG or vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery which I had in Mexicali, Mexico November 30th 2012 with Dr. Acebas at Mexicali Bariatric Almeter Hospital. Uh, so yeah week 86. Um, clearly it's been an eventful few weeks for me. Um, I got my hair did today. I don't know if you guys can really see but I got black low lights in the front here um so kind of liking it i would like it if um my hair was a bit redder and the there was more contrast with the low lights but um i might make that happen soon who knows so my haircut day is always a happy day uh on to things that maybe aren't so happy this week <laughs> the scale um so last week I was at 202.5, which was a gain from the week before of like half a pound. Um, this week the scale was up to 206.3. 206.3, that's a 3.8 pound gain from last week. And I use air quotes when I say that because I didn't eat enough to gain 4 pounds. But um, I had talked about how I was not happy about the scale going down because I felt like it was artificial weight loss because um, I wasn't eating properly, not eating enough. And so I felt like, you know, well, as soon as I start eating again, the scale is going to go up. And sure enough, this was the first week that I actually ate any, anywhere approaching, you know, a decent amount of calories, uh, let's say between six and 900 on a pretty much everyday basis. And, uh, Sure enough, the scale was up almost four pounds this week. Um, it's not a problem in that, you know, 206 is still under 210, so I'm still under goal and in my maintenance range, I guess, of 200 to 210. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't think anybody wants to see a four pound gain on the scale, no matter what the reason. So. It is what it is. I mean, it's more important to me that I am getting over my eating issues than what the number on the scale is, but it was kind of disappointing. So there's that. Um, and I mean, I guess I will talk about the eating thing a little bit more. Uh, before I do that, there's a couple things I wanted to mention. I want to give a uh, shout out to Walter, who accepted my uh, proposal from Fat Kings. <laughs> but... I still haven't seen you on Facebook, Walter. It's not official till you join Facebook, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, TJ and Jen, Jen R and Y for me, um, they both had surgery yesterday. TJ had surgery on his shoulder and Jen had her gallbladder removed, so I just want to uh, send my positive vibes for... Um, quick, rapid, comfortable healing to both of you. I know both of your surgeries went well, so I hope you're recovering well as well. That was a lot of wells. Um, yeah, so eating, okay. Uh, I have been doing better. I know I've gotten, you know, messages from people who are concerned, um, and I understand why, and I have been doing better. Um, I've been trying really hard. I think now that I have been forcing myself to eat a bit more. It's been a bit easier. I'm not feeling as badly when I eat. Um, it's still not great, but it's improving. Um, and I'm slowly, you know, getting back up to what I think is an adequate number of calories. So that is good. Um, and that is what I'm focused on right now. I'm not really focused on what the scale says. I'm, I'm just focused on getting in an adequate amount of, of calories and protein, which I, I just wasn't doing before. Um, I was mostly living on coffee and like popcorn and popsicles and not good. So, um, I'm glad that that is getting better for sure. Um, you know, this is stuff that is a challenge. It's stuff that we just go through in general, whether you're trying to lose a weight or weight loss surgery patient or, you know, sometimes your eating habits are crappy because of stress or whatever. Um, but just as overeating isn't great and there's you know, not an excuse to not control that. Um, under eating, especially for me, um, based on previous issues, isn't great either. And that's something I felt like I needed to get under control. 
So there may be people who don't kind of get why it was so important to me, but um, I'm glad that it's improving. Uh, it is a weird feeling though to try to force yourself to eat more, especially at like how 18 months plus out from surgery. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, what else? I have, I don't really have notes this week because I've been pretty terrible at making videos, so I apologize. Um, but, uh, I'm kind of just trying to get through life <laughs> right now and I don't want to abandon making YouTube videos and, um, I still think it's important for me to be here and to share my struggles and my journey slash adventure <laughs> with you guys. Um, even when maybe it's not that interesting. Uh, so, traveling. Um, I am going to be in Boston for a couple of days next week and then in uh, Lake George, New York to see Coco, Corey J. Cook. Um, so I'll be with Chris, Goose, Mon Goose? No. Gooch Monster BSG, um, and Lauren Losing and Lauren's boyfriend Josh and possibly BSG Bobby. Um, you better be there, we just do Bobby. Just saying. Uh, and we are going to Six Flags, which is going to be awesome. So um, that's a fun little trip. It's actually been planned for quite a while. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then Obesity Help is just a few weeks after that. Obesity Help's in about three weeks. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's info in the um, description box below. But uh, Obesity Help is a conference uh, taking place in Manhattan Beach, California. It is August 15th and 16th, I believe. Um, yeah, Friday and Saturday. Uh, I went last year. It was amazing. It will hopefully be amazing this year. There's some really great speakers. And also me. I'll be speaking there at the event on Friday. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone who's going. And there are still tickets, so you can totally go last minute. I, I booked my ticket, I think, maybe two or three weeks before last year. So I was a last minuter last year as well. Um, if you need more info, you can always message me. Um, or again, you can click on the link in the description box um, for Obesity Help tickets and info. Uh, also, I wanted to just thank everyone um, who has sent me really sweet and kind messages of support. Um, Obviously, I've shared a lot of um, what's been going on with me, and um, in doing so, not just I, but Will and Chris have opened ourselves up to a lot of judgment. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I said to someone, you know, if there's one person who is helped by our situation or what we've gone through... Um, who can take something from it, then just like anything else that I've shared on this channel, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of that. Uh, but it wasn't easy. And it's not easy. And um, it's just really moved me, the number of people who have sent messages um, and even just checked on me to make sure I'm okay, um, even if they didn't know what to say. That has, it just proves to me how great this community is. And yes, there have been haters and there have been um, people who have said ugly things and things that are untrue, but that is what it is. It's not going to stop me from being honest and sharing my journey, my adventure, my experience with all of you guys. So, uh, suck it haters. <laughs> oh yeah, I just did that. <laughs> um, very last thing. Um, you know what? Not very last thing. I'm going to leave that for another day. So, uh, I will not actually be doing a video um, next week at all, probably. Um, although you may see a video from my trip, um, maybe not on this channel, but on someone else's channel. I won't be doing an update video on Friday, um, but I will definitely be back the week after with an update video and uh, hopefully a couple of extra videos as well, because I've been really behind on that. So 
Um, yeah. Things are looking up. I just, I know that my videos have been like downers lately and um, it gets better. <laughs> thank you. Thank all of you for the support and the kindness and the understanding that you guys have shown me. Um, it really does touch me and um, I love you guys for it. So thank you.